Foundation at Upper Hill here in Nairobi. The Azimio leaders are present now, at least some of them. Let's listen into what's happening there. The president, and I'm saying this very deliberately, the office of the president, with evidence that the costs of food, fuel, electricity, and fees remain unacceptably high. Further, we wanted to petition that office to desist from destroying political parties. And I've emphasized because we are saying there is an illegitimate regime. We separate the office from persons. The third office we were to visit is the National Treasury, where we wanted to petition for the immediate release of all funds owed to counties and for the timely payment of salaries to all civil servants. The fourth office we were to visit is the Public Service Commission, where we planned to demand that appointments to public offices be done on purely on merit and inclusivity, not tribe, as is presently the case. We strongly feel that it is immoral and criminal in a country of close to 50 communities for appointments to go only to members of one community. Unfortunately, our members of parliament who were on their way to the office of the president to begin the presentation of the petitions were not allowed to access this public office for which we pay with our taxes. Despite being, a peace, uh, being peaceful and unarmed, they were met with tear guns and gunshots and other forms of brutality. We know why we could not be allowed to present a petition to OP on cost of food. There has been an attempt by the illegitimate Kenya Kwanzaa regime to mislead the people of Kenya that the cost of hunger has come down. The truth is that it has not and we wanted to prove it. We also wish to let Kenyans know that the new UNGA brands that they are retailing at slightly lower prices than old, the older familiar brands are GMO maize. A number of millers have declined to mill that and sell it to Kenyans as a matter of principle. It is incumbent on the Kenya Kwanzaa regime shall I add the legitimate regime, to be honest with Kenyans, tell them the truth, and let them have a choice. Kenyans must not be made to consume GMO products without being told and offered a choice. We said it yesterday, and we will say it again today. William Ruto and his illegitimate regime are making serious attempts to suspend our hard one constitution, which we shall not allow. End of the statement. But uh, we, we have uh, something to add that the goons hired are principally from the Kikuyu community. And they are the same goons that had been hired to attack the Northlands farm, also to attack East Africa Spectre, and it is